Hey, welcome back, everybody. My next guest is an Oscar-nominated actress you know from her role as Tutar in Borat subsequent movie film. No. You tell. How bad, how bad you tell. Please welcome to a late show, Maria Bakalova. Maria, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me here and thank you for this wonderful, heartwarming scene that it almost made me cry. Um, thank you. <laughs> Now, where are we talking to in the world right now? Are you in the States or are you, are you over overseas? Not yet. I'm still in London, but I'm about to leave soon. And I know you got to come to the United States because congratulations on your Oscar nomination. That is wonderful. I, I can't Thank imagine. You. This is your first film, yes? It is my first international film, yeah. And I, okay, so when we had Sasha on, back in October when the film came out, he said, if Marie doesn't win an Oscar for this performance, then I don't know what the Academy is for. I, I, I want to get to the performance. I want to get to your, your, your experience creating the movie. But first, what was it like working with Sasha? Had you, had you, are you familiar with his work before this? I've been familiar with Sasha's work more as a dramatic actor because I've watched from Les, Mis Les Miserables to Hugo to Who is America. It was the year when I auditioned for Borat and The Spy, which was brilliant show, and Sasha was brilliant in it. And we all saw him in this year, the trial of Chicago 7, how great he is as a dramatic actor as well. But I, for some reason, missed Borat and Allergy and the whole production there. Uh, and I was pretty sure that he's one of the best dramatic actors. And then I found out that he's a genius in the comedy world, in the satire world, actually. So it was quite crazy. And it's been actually super in inspirational because he's one of the smartest people that I've ever met. And he's been the greatest mentor that every actor can dream for because he's like your guardian angel on set uh, in front of the camera and behind of the camera. So it's been amazing. I want to be like him. He's like a hero in a board costume. Wow. That, that is, uh, you know what? He has to be your guardian angel because he actually puts you in some dangerous situations which we'll get to in just a moment. You need a guardian angel when you're shooting with Sasha Baron Cohen, I think. I think he needs a guardian angel too. Yes, yes, he needs it. I mean, that's what I'm saying. He is a superhero, guys, in a board costume. This is a new costume. Now, getting back to the Oscar for just a second here, are you gonna, t are you gonna attend? Are you gonna come? I'm gonna come and I'm super excited because I've been watching the Oscars ever since I was 15, 16 on a small TV, uh, actually not so small from these big ones, uh, in Bulgaria, in Burgas, around 3.30, 4.30 a.m. Uh, and now it's beyond my imagination that I'm gonna be in person with all these inspirational people, creators. It's just insane. So you watched it in the middle of the night there because of the time difference? Is that what the idea is? Yes. Well, um, yes. who's your date? Do you have a date? I think I'm gonna have a date, but my biggest point is that I'm gonna try to enjoy all of the other nominees there. Uh, my date probably is gonna be somebody from my agent, as there have been my US family, and I'm excited to be with some of them. Um, the most infamous scene in the movie, or maybe not the most infamous, but the one of the most famous scenes in the movie is with you alone with Rudy Giuliani. And I got, we got a, you and your, your character, Tutar, there, I'll hold this photo up right there. That's you, you've interviewed him, and this is in your room, next door to the room where you, you've interviewed him, and he um, claims to be tucking in his pants. Uh, did you think that moment would get as much attention as it did? Mm. I knew that it's gonna be something that people will pay attention, for sure, because ever since I joined the project, I made a commitment that I'm going to meet some politician, somebody that is going to be world famous, and I am I going to be capable to do it. I remember Monica Levinson, the producer, asked me that, and Sasha itself, uh, himself as well. And I was, yes, sure, let's do it. But not even thinking about the 
the reaction of the world. And when I had that scene, I knew that something is going in one direction, what is going to be. <laughs> and when I saw it with my eyes on screen, I was, oh, God. Was that a scary, we, was that a scary scene to do? Because you guys were alone. For sure, it's been the scariest. Um, I don't know. Maybe the White House was scary <laughs> well, in the same way. Um, but it was scary because I was alone. Thankfully, Sasha was there in the same room, hiding in the closet, but with two, three percent battery on his phone. And I was, is he going to make it on time? <laughs> what is going to happen? <laughs> we have to take a quick break. But when we come back, I'll ask Maria about sneaking into the White House. She did it.